What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius with a little review for you guys. It is currently 1 o'clock in the morning. I just got home from seeing Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, and I wanted to give you guys a review with it off, like, as fresh as it can possibly be in my mind. I was going to do it in the car, but I thought maybe the setup with the mic, with the lights, would be just a little bit better. So I can, I can wait the 15-minute drive home to let you guys know. But this is going to be a non-spoiler and a spoiler review. So I'm going to have a little non-spoiler part at the beginning and then a little non -spo It's not going to be the longest review. I just want to give you guys my quick thoughts. If for so for the non-spoiler, no spoilers, absolutely right here. I will let a warning when that does happen. But if you guys are questioning whether or not you should watch this movie or on the fence of whether or not you should watch this movie, I would say absolutely without a fathom of doubt, go watch this movie. I am going to be seeing it multiple times in theaters. It is absolutely fantastic it hit every box that i had set for it and this was coming off the last anime movie i watched which was mugen train so i already had in my opinion overestimated expectations for it and with that being said it still exceeded my expectations guys uh, like i'm saying no spoilers but one thing i loved about this particular movie especially compared to some certain other anime movies is no matter what character you like in this movie you know when you're watching a movie the, your character that you like is gonna have a moment to shine it's gonna they do this movie they play it off like such a good jjk arc which i'm loving that concept and theme of more anime movies adapting more arcs and fitting them into a more concise period with such great pacing and such a good climactic arc and you know and it's it, it's so well done the animation Oh my goodness, I could talk about that for an hour. Fantastic. The music, oh my goodness, fantastic. Characters, story, and how it ties into the actual show. It bring a prequel, no the spoilers there, but I was curious how it's going to tie in, but it tied in very, very well. Let me tell you guys that. I'm trying to think of a single complaint I have, and I really cannot think of any. Any complaints you would have or issues you would have with this show might be here as well because it's so simple. It's just a ramped up more amazing version of Jujutsu Kaisen, which is already amazing. So my final review for you guys is to absolutely go see this. Tell your friends to go see this. If they don't even watch anime, tell them to watch JJK and then go see this. I'm not really big into doing numbers, but maybe I'll start doing reviews or, or numbers or anything like this. I would absolutely give this a solid eight and a half, nine out of 10. I think if Mugen Train was a solid eight and a half for me, I would give this eight and a half, possibly even nine. It's a fantastic movie definitely go watch it hype your friends up go see this you'll love it now we get on to the spoiler section just a quick little warning i might pop up some text or something on here just to let you guys know this is the spoiler section i'm just gonna be talking about a few specific things that i really thoroughly enjoyed in this um with that being said okotsu or yuta as a character i loved how they sort of teased him throughout season one and then we got such a great backstory such a good origin story for him in this one so good like before going into this movie i didn't rewatch all of jujutsu kaisen which i would have liked to have done and just didn't have the time for it but i did watch a little video where it was all the times yuta or okotsu was mentioned in season one because trust me guys a lot of the people going into this don't even know that it's a prequel or it's about okotsu because my friends didn't even know that i had to explain it to them they were like oh i can't wait to see nobara and yuji and uh <laughs> and uh, megumi i'm like you're probably not gonna see them but okotsu's backstory and how much he's been mentioned hyped him up so much for me personally in this movie and seeing his tragic backstory and how much of a anime main character he is without us even seeing him in the first season is so well done like i genuinely think him and yuji seeing this movie would get along so swimmingly and i love how megumi says okotsu in the in season one is one of the only people he respects you know toto was hyping him up everyone was saying prior to freeing rika that he single-handedly won the exchange event you know like they hyped him up so much only to have it paid off so well in this his backstory with rika their love how he was like a sickly boy and it was that was so well done and i i thoroughly enjoy how he did so much harm by trying to do good if that makes sense i love the conversation he had with gojo in which gojo was like it's it's my personal theory but the most twisted curse of all is love and i love that because and it later is revealed that he, that okotsu is the descendant a distant relative of gojo's really but is a descendant of a very very powerful sorcerer so in like like not of like in subconsciously is what i'm trying to say he cursed 
Rika while she died, which was a horrible death. And the way they did that with the blood splatter on the street, oh my god, it was so horrible. But the way he would not let her die peacefully or he would reject her death is what cursed her. And that's... I, I, his character, he really fits the bill of an anime main character. So I really like how he was the main character of this movie, even though Yuji is the main character of our story. It really just goes to show you the world building, how every character could be the main character of their own story. And another thing I loved about this that I said in the non-spoiler part, but is absolutely a part I want to elaborate a little bit on, is that every single person that you might like in this movie got a moment to shine. Now I'm talking from our first years at this time, uh, Inumaki, Panda, and Maki all got fantastic moments. But our exchange Kyoto students, Toto, my boy Toto came in and got a moment. Everybody got a moment. The teachers, Nanami got a fantastic moment. Um, we got the teacher who's only uh, interested in money with her like battle axe. I was like, oh my God, this woman is amazing. They're all oh, there. Gojo, of course it's Gojo. Got 75 moments, but that man, oh my God, is something else. I, this movie. And that's one thing I really enjoyed this, and I'm not going to say this is a downside about Mugen Train at all. I love Mugen Train, but it had like four or five really dope parts with like one amazing part. Whereas this movie had like 14 or 15 really dope parts with like one amazing part. Like there was those ama those super dope parts were scattered and flowed a lot more through this movie. Now, I'm not saying that to hate on Mugen Train at all. Absolutely one of my favorite anime movies of all time. I'm just saying this movie, the pacing, it was such a good arc. And I say that because it felt so much like it. Oh my. And then we saw we got so much info on Ghetto and we got to see his powers and his motivations. And I'm just so confused on this, why he's alive currently in the current show because he was a mom. Uh, you know, like I could really get into having this conversation with you guys and maybe I'll have a live stream soon about it where we can talk about it. But like this movie, Dan freaking tastic i've been recording already for over 10 minutes so i'm probably gonna end it here but just know this movie is so goddamn good i thoroughly enjoy it i hope you guys did as well if you did please leave a like on the video let me know your thoughts down below if you guys didn't watch ah, i am kind of bummed i didn't save it because it would have made a great reaction but seeing it in theaters was absolutely fantastic so i appreciate y'all we're gonna have many movie reactions here to come would it not be dope for all all of us, all the Dapper Squad members, to be in a singular theater and watch a movie like this together? One day, guys. One day. Uh, but other than that, have a great day, guys. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.